Andrew Gaze. It's doubtful any Australian athlete has had a greater honour than Gaze he had when he carried the flag at the opening ceremony of the Sydney Olympics. Gaze is Australia's best-known basketball player, having played in five Olympic Games, four World Championships and 307 internationals. Gaze is also a legend of the NBL, scoring an all-time high 18,908 points. To top things off, he also won an NBA championship ring with the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, Gazy, great to see you here. You're not known for your bravery, but great for you to put your hand up today and say that you'd go first. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I was the flag bearer in Sydney and uh, very proud moment. So I've got the Australian flag, so hopefully everyone can get behind me and all the people going down the slide here, and I've come fully kitted up in the Australia. Just to relive that moment, ladies and gentlemen, I'll bring the tear to my eye, Tim. Incredible stuff. Are, are you going to carry the flag all the way down into the ice? Into the ice, my friend. I'm going, I'm going under and coming up, and the Australian flag will rise. OK, off you go. There's 600 bags of ice in there. Good luck to you. Hopefully we'll see you at the bottom. All right. Well, the five-time Olympian's about to get underway. Indicated during the week, his only other oh. ice bath-related work was with his wife, designed around producing a boy. That. He I'll has three that. daughters. By the way, it worked, and he's ready to go. Look at him, wearing the flag-bearing uniform please, of please, 2000. Please. The great, the king of Australian yeah. basketball, it is Andrew Gaze. Three... Two, now get up, ready, set, go, Gazy! Oh, it's going to be cold, he's gone in. The Australian flag's popped out, where's Andrew? There he is. Put your hands together for Andrew Gaze, the king of Australian basketball. Oh, boy, it looks cold. It looks very, very, and look at the eyes. They're bulging as he come down. He didn't quite know what to expect. He's never been so cold in all of his life, wearing the magnificent flag-bearing uniform for the Olympics in 2000. Andrew Gaze is with Hamish McLaughlin. <laughs> Thanks, BT. Uh, Gaze, is this the original outfit that you wore in 2000 or a replica? No, this is the original. Only ever been worn once before. And, uh, geez, it means really nothing right now because I'm freezing. It was designed for a Summer Olympics. Let's meet our next slider. Please. Elisa Kaplan's journey from would-be Australian gymnast to Olympic champion in aerial skiing included a broken collarbone, broken hand, separated shoulder, a dislocated sternum twice, a ripped hip flexor, two broken ankles, severe knee injuries and 12 cracked ribs. But after she soared through two perfect triple twisting double somersaults to win the Olympic gold medal at Deer Valley, all the agony had been worthwhile. Her courage and smile made her an instant favourite with Australian sports fans. And to this day, she remains heavily involved in sport, most notably to footy fans as a member of the Collingwood board. Well, Lisa, your sport was all about sticking the landing. What do you think of Gazy's entry there? Well, if you get extra points for bums up, then he wins. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready to go? Oh, I'm freaking out a little bit. You know, I was nervous at the Olympics, but this is taking things to a whole new level. OK, I think the crowd would like to see a couple of somersaults before you make an entry into the ice tonight. Well, I brought my uh, freeze M&D ski suit, so hopefully <laughs> that'll stand me in good stead with a little bit of magpies. Woo! Good luck. Thanks. Boy, never did she think she would be competing in a downhill slide race. Yeah. Ice cold oh. conditions, just another day at the office for the great Elisa Camplin. The gold medalist, ladies and gentlemen, Dia Valley Olympic gold medal. She's setting herself. She's ready to go. Let's go with Elisa Camplin. Three, two, one, go! And in she goes, trying to keep the face out. Oh, it's cold, she said. Look at that. She's duck paddling to try and get out as quick as she can. You wouldn't believe it. Have a look at this. The psych telling herself it's OK, it's OK. But when she got there, she realised it wasn't OK. It was really, really cold. Hain. Colder than you thought? Oh, yeah. That takes the cake. Oh, my God. Now, you're used to the cold, but it is freezing. It's 1.6. Do you know what is really hot? Number of donations that have been raised, we've just ticked over a million dollars. Oh, that's fantastic. If we can get to two million today, then we've done Neil proud. You happy with your landing? Uh, do you know I was just happy to survive? There's more ice in there than water. Hot shower under there. Yeah, thanks very much. Go Pie! Uh, third slider is next, and it's Adam Gilchrist. Fightmnd.org.au. 
Adam Gilchrist was one of modern cricket's most exhilarating players, whether as opener in the limited overs form of the game or as number seven in the test arena. Few Australians have commanded the eyes of all sports lovers more than Gilly. Here at the MCG, Gilly played in nine Boxing Day tests, all of which were won by Australia. In his international career, which amounted to almost 400 appearances across all forms of the game, Gilly made 33 centuries, hit 262 sixes, took 813 catches and affected 92 stumpings. Wow. Well, I think Adam Gilchrist is under here somewhere. He's going to reveal himself. Gilly, just talk us through this outfit. Well, sporting theme, a bloke who, well, this really is his backyard, and I've come along as one of his potent weapons. Today, I am. I'm Warney's Flipper. <laughs> Warney's Flipper, well, Flipper, off you go into the ice. A little unusual. Warney's Flipper terrorised so many opponents, he, I am terrorised by this. Right? Uh, remarkable things have happened at the MCG, but nothing like this. A Flipper in lieu of Warney, about to go in, one of the greatest of all time here. Hit 150 in a one, in the, one day international. Here Very he is. Nice. Adam Gilchrist, yeah, one of the right. greatest of all time, is about to do it for MND. You ready to go? Three, two, one. Adam Gilchrist, here he goes. Down the slide and in, in the dolphin suit. Had a little bit of flipper on it as well and he's come up. And he's not well. How about that? Adam Gilchrist, down the slide, remarkable thing. Would never have seen ice other than at the after party at an Australian test match, perhaps, when they're celebrating. And he is now with Hamish McLaughlin, the great Adam Gilchrist. Well, Gilly, inspired by Warney, uh, yeah. you've been a part of the Australian eleven, now a part of Neil Danaher's eight. Not sure which you'd be prouder of. <laughs> Gazy's right. That's breathtaking. Is it cold, you thought? It is cold. That's the reason I retired from cricket, was they brought ice baths in. We used to put beer in ice. Now we put the players in there, but... No, that was that was good fun. You go have a beer with Neil afterwards. Have a warm shower now. One of Australia's all-time greats, Cheryl McMahon achieved just about every accolade on offer in netball, including captain of her country. The star shooter was part of three netball World Cups, 99, 03 and 07, and four Commonwealth Games, 98, 02, 06 and 10. She finished with 2,520 international goals at an average of just over 21 per test. Well, Sherelle, this is all about preparation. How have you prepared for this today? Well, I've uh, diamonded up and I just thought I'd go back to my roots in the Australian diamonds. <laughs> but I thought I might just need a bit of superhero help. <laughs> so I've gone the superhero action here. Off you go. Good luck. Captain of Australia, 2,520 goals for Australia. That's only a few shy of Lockett, Ablett Senior and Lingy all together. Can no. you believe it? The great no. captain of the Diamonds, Sherelle McMahon. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one. Down she goes. Sherelle McMahon in. She's a little concerned. She did eventually go under, I think, at some stage. Now, Sherelle, stay there. Stay there, Sherelle. We're just going to uh, we're going to throw you this ball. You you said it. You're going to get a goal before you got out. You told us that. Let's go. Let's have a look at that. Sherelle McBarn, Australia's best goal shooter. Put your hands together. What a goal, Sherelle McMahon, down the slide. Absolutely fantastic, Haim. Now, BT. Cheryl, that was your idea to shoot a goal before you got out, wasn't it? It wasn't BT putting you under. No, yeah, that's right. Yep, yeah, I was uh, in for that. I thought that was a good plan. Whew. And if you missed, you could have been there for a while. Yeah, I was told that I had to keep shooting until I got one in. So, yes, yeah, first go. I'm happy with that. You never missed. Well done. Of all Australia's victories in the Olympic Games, undoubtedly the most bizarre was that of Stephen Bradbury in the 1,000 metre short track speed skating final at the Salt Lake City 2002 Winter Games. Bradbury, whose gold medal was the first ever won by an Australian at the Winter Olympics, was dubbed the accidental hero after his rivals collided, tumbled and sprawled around the ice, leaving him to skate alone past the finish line. This sensational scene marked the end of a career which had embraced four Olympics, much sacrifice and some horrific injuries. Subsequently, all manner of unlikely Australian sporting achievements have been dubbed Bradbury-esque. Today, though, he will be the one hitting the ice.
Well, you can't see a replay of that race often enough, can you? Um, it was an amazing way to finish a career that uh, spanned across four Winter Olympics for me, and this is a little bit different version of uh, the Winter Olympics down here. I'm a little, a little scared right now. <laughs> don't be, don't be. You'll be okay when you get to the bottom. Who are you dressed as today? I think it's kind of obvious, isn't it? <laughs> the Warwick, Tony Lockett. The Warwick Capper. I, was, uh, I thought it was probably uh, unexpected to come dressed as an AFL player, being on the speed skater, you'd probably think I'd have the Olympic team skin suit. But uh, you're looking good. Let's go down the let's go down the slide into the ice. Never has the adage of you've got to be in it to win it been more apt than for this guy here today. It will be him hitting the ice. One Very of the greats of Thank our you, Winter Olympic teams. By the way, coming up very soon, Steve Bradbury, ladies and gentlemen. Three. Two, one, and he's away! Bit of an off balance going on, he's gone right over the back, Steve Bradbury. Unbelievable, is he going to surface? Yes, he is, no, he's not. Gee, look at this, you better send the divers in. He may well be not coming up, here he is. Put your hands together for Steve Bradbury. Yes, Steve, it is cold. Fully submersed, under for quite a while, and the gold medalist gets out with you, Haim. <laughs> Made very few want to stay in there for uh, any longer than they have to. What are you doing? Uh, mate, I'm not sure if I've got any shrinkage going on in Captain Shorts here or not, but I probably do. <sighs> you sort the shrinkage out. To, just a reminder at home, you just got to say this with me, fightmnd.org.au. Fightmnd.org.au. Next slide, on the other side of the break.